A Feynman cock formula. Okay, the last thing, the really last thing, which is just a one liner proof like this the Feynman cock formula. The Feynman cock formula is really, if I, if, if I say, is, is the really entire mathematical finance sector. It's, it's the entire mathematical finance. This is really the heart of mathematical finance. So, so, in other words, I have a stock price. So I have stock price that satisfies a stochastic differential equation and I have a financial derivative whose payoff, whose possible gain is a function of a stock price and you, you always want to know that okay what should be the premium for this you know financial derivative and in order to do that you need to apply feynman cock formula always, always. Some version of Feynman work from them. Okay. On Wednesday, maybe uh, Parvez will give a talk on weather derivatives, so you can see one of the applications of Feynman, Feynman work formula. That let's see that how he is doing. So now, when you're going to sit, you're going to see what he is doing. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Feynman work formula. This Feynman is the same Feynman, Feynman physics guy, you know, the crazy guy. I don't know. He's everywhere, sir. He's everywhere. <laughs> He's like the boss, you know. Everywhere. But he's dead now. He's gone. 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 It's again a kind of a relationship between PDEs and it, it, this is really the relationship between PDEs and English was also but this is kind of a more explicit Feynman formula okay so here's the thing let's say that assume we have been given a function given a function phi of x okay. there must be some assumptions on it but it's not mentioned okay. well, let's assume for it that it's just a simple function there must be some assumptions on it okay. and xp is eto process function. so I have a function and a eto process that satisfies this dynamic sector. So the dynamics of the eta process are this a of t dt plus v of t v of t. Of t. Okay, so the, the official terminology for saying that a process satisfies a stochastic differential equation, you say that these are the dynamics of the process actually. So that's what the dynamics of the process is. So dxt, okay. And I have a function f that is that satisfies the previous assumption, so of C12 class, and it satisfies the you know this uh, um, uh, the official block equation, official block, what, what, what equation? I Fokker block. Fokker block. Fokker block equation. So partial f by partial t plus you know a. Partial f by partial x plus v square over 2, partial 2 f by partial x to 0. So f is satisfied with this. And there is another thing that this f at time capital time t, or maybe you can call it b actually, with r notation a and b. So b is the terminal time. If equal to phi. Sir, but you are using B there. Oh, so it's, you know. Which, call it T definitely. Ah, yes. Yes. Keep it capital T. So, so the interval that I am talking about is say, 0 to T. So instead of A to T, I have interval 0 to T. Okay? And at capital T, it's equal to this function phi of x. Alright? And let's assume that the partial derivative, the first order partial derivative of x is from this L two A D, not calligraphic, simple L two A D. Then 
if you want to find the solution of this equation so if you want to find the solution of this equation which has with subject to this condition actually terminal condition that's a terminal condition final it's not an initial condition terminal condition actually then the solution of this focal plus equation is f t x of t is simply nothing just compute the conditional expectation of phi of x t given f t t so the conditional expectation satisfies the PDE so phi of x t at terminal t is it? Yes. Oh, yes phi of x t at the terminal time t satisfies given f t satisfies this okay so usually when we when we are doing finance problem what we say we say that imagine i have you know xt is really the stock price process that satisfies the differential equation and then i say that i have a function so function f is some financial derivative whose payoff can be given by this function actually so okay. whose payoff can be given by this function this is zero this is f t f t is drift zero Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's the same thing. So, so, so this is the payoff of the you know derivative. So, if you want to find this payoff, what you can do, if you if you want to find this f, in other words, you know the value of the f at any time t, just compute the conditional expectation of this. Actually, you add one factor more, you know, you just write present value e to the minus r t. This is really the result. Okay. Why is this true? It's just a one-liner proof. So, f t at any time x t. I know I don't need to rewrite this proof that this is going to be an integral from zero to capital T of partial f by partial x, evaluated at s x of s and b of s and d w s, right? That, term goes to okay, that, that, uh, that we know from our previous the problem. Plus the condition. Okay. Now if I R, ah, yes, okay, so I need to add the previous initial condition as well. Okay. Minus f of 0, 0. What if, if I, ah, then this is not going to be capital T is equal to time T. Okay. So if I evaluate the same factor, but at x T, then I know that this would be equal to phi of x t minus f 0 0 equal to 0 to capital T and partial f by partial x s x s b of s d w s ah make sure that do we have b of s in our previous form this should be I think I did it draw yes sir assumption is ah, it's times b of s this is in b of s B of t times B times this is in B of deterministic nahi hai. Yes. Okay, so so I have this. Okay. Now what can I do? Simple. Just take the difference of it. So you have the f t x t minus phi of um, x capital T is going to be equal to. So it's just different of these two integrals actually. Shall I okay. switch the signs? Okay, so let's do this. So small t to capital T now. So it's going to be small t to capital T, partial f by partial x, s, x, s, and b of s and pwfs, right? And, okay, so, so I have a minus here and a plus here. So here's the, here, here the major argument. The major argument is take the conditional expectation on both sides. Okay. Take the conditional expectation. So on this side I have the conditional expectation phi of x capital T minus f t x t given f t. Okay. What would be the conditional expectation of this stochastic integral? Zero. 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 So the filtration is generated from that? Yes, yes. Brownian cell. Yes, yes. That's what we have assumption. Okay. So it must be. So if it is 0, so this is proved actually. Now now I can say this is ft measurable. So, so you can take it out and you know, 
and you have this identity. So that's, I can write that this is same as expectation of phi of xt given ft, okay, minus expectation of ftx because ftx is ft measurable. So you can simply write this is equal to f Okay. So, so, so this really bridges between. So it, it really bridges. So this result really bridges two mindsets actually. Think about it. So he, on one side you have probabilist actually. So who want probabilistically solve the problems? So what they are interested in, they'll not go for PD. They'll try to compute the directly conditional expectation of this. Okay. On other side, some some people will say, you know, I'm not interested in solving, you know computing this conditional expectation, but I know that this conditional expectation satisfies the PDE and to solve that PDE. So in other words, you can find conditional expectation through finding F by following the PDE and you know, the other way could be that you can find the F through by solving the conditional expectation. So you have these two. So that's a beautiful formula. We're going to use it a lot in letter one, whenever you want to solve some practical problems. So see you.